Hi everyone, um, my name is Laura Allen. I am the Region 5 Political Advocacy Liaison. Now, as we know, voting is coming up, the election is coming up. So I just wanted to make sure that all of our chapters were aware of a way that we could make sure not only were our fellow peers in SNMA at our school, our fellow classmates, as well as those in the community, um, are able to register to vote and become make sure that we have a voice in this election. So right here is the platform that Student National Medical Association decided that would be best. We are partnering with Voter or Vote ER and Met Out to Vote. And just a little bit about the organization. This is the team. Uh, Vote like our health depends on it. Um, the creator is Dr. Alistair Martin. As you can see, he is an emergency room physician um, out of Harvard. This is the COO of the organization. Um, the core beliefs of voter is basically they would like to, um, we believe in empowered voices in our communities to have positive health outcomes. We believe that by voting for our health, we can better preserve what works in demand change for things that don't, and more voices build better systems. We believe our healthcare system is stronger when we, as providers and patients, show up. So in terms of this partners, as you can see, we are up here, Student National Medical Association, along with many different other organizations. So this is a very, big thing. So just to kind of give you a little understanding, I will be sending you all the link to this, um, this page. There is a couple tabs on the page, as you can see. Um, so basically, if we go here, you can do the medical school leaderboard. It talks about basically today, the leaders, um, as you can see from Region 5, go case is there. Um, the leaders from the last seven days this month, Case and Neomed, my home institutions on there, as well as all time. So that's available, which makes it cool because this is a competition. No one wins anything, but the school that does win gets to choose the organization of their choice to donate to. So it's for a good cause, as well as getting um, our students registered to vote also shows the state leader. Um, it tells us ways that we could use voter. Um, it's not partisan, not interruptive, completely optional. Um, there's health democracy kits, site-based approach. So it's very um, thorough in doing that. So then if you press on the Get Started Now tab, we'll see different ways that we can take action. So um, after you've signed up, you can add a voter signature to your email. So basically, if you press this, once you're signed up, this can be at the bottom of your email. And then so whoever is interested in maybe signing up can just click that. You can also, there's conversation starters right here. This is like the script. Um, patients, if you're you know, third and fourth year and you're already in the hospital. I know some of our first and second years aren't in the clinic yet. There's posters, um, there's different type of surveys you can create. Um, basically, if you want to have pre-written emails, they have those for you. So it's really nice how this website tries to make it as convenient for us as students to be able to implement getting our communities as well as our classmates to vote. So for you all, um, I know, like I said, uh, some of the institutions in our region are already registered, but for those that are not, you press the Get Started Now. Oops, excuse me, sorry. Get your health democracy kit is what you would press. And as you can see, you can order for an institution or team. So for schools, I would do that. Clinical providers can do it, social workers, um, additional resources and so forth. So you can do digital or traditional. Um, 
I mean, I would personally recommend digital because um, you, for one, get the kits sooner and it's no cost to you, whereas um, the physical kits, kits do cost and um, it takes some, it takes about two weeks. So I think for quicker results, I would probably lean more towards the digital kit. So basically what you would do is you would come to place your bulk order for start. Um, it tells you about the traditional kits or it you could do the digital kits. Um, you type in your first and last name, email address, cell phone, healthcare organization, your school, what group organization are you ordering bulk kits for? So you can see like SNMA, at whatever institution you're at. Um, are you participating in the health democracy campaign competition between medical schools? Um, please select yes. You don't have to, but it's a cool way to kind of, you know, turn this into like a fun little competition. Um, your position, what state you are in, as well as um, your badges will have a special one word text code. So that's, you know, you could say vote your institution. So whatever school you're in. Um, approximately how many will you need or do you plan to distribute and so forth. I will also have this pro presentation up in a booth for RLI. Say your school is already registered um, you can still register yourself too. So I recommend, um, you know, getting on this as soon as possible, not only just for the competition aspect, but also just because, you know, it's so important that we make sure that we are educating those around us to get involved in the election, make sure we're, um, you know, educating our communities of the importance of voting and being registered. All right. Well, I believe that's all I have to say. If you have any more questions, I will have my email in the uh, message that I send this, as well as for RLI, I'll have my email address in the voter booth. And um, I look forward to um, working and seeing, you know, how our region can do with this. All right, thank you.